Hey everyone, thanks for meeting today. Did everyone get a chance to see my reports for the fiscal year? Yep. No, Absolutely. sorry, I haven't. Where are these reports? I don't see anything in my email. It's located in the files under reports. Uh, no, no, not that report either. Uh, I actually put this one in our internet files under 2020 reporting. Oh, so uh, then I haven't seen them either. Uh, that's okay. You know what? I'm just going to resend it. I'm just going to resend it. Perfect. Perfect. Hi everyone, this is Vince from Vaughn Public Libraries. If this sounds familiar to you, then you'll definitely be interested to try Trello to help your team stay focused while outside of the office. To help us explain and walk through some of its features, my colleague Majid is here to show us some basics. Trello has been in the market for around a decade, since 2011. It's an online or virtual cork board or bulletin board. You use it to organize cards into lists. Those cards can be tasks, notes, projects, share files, or anything else that helps your team work together and manage their tasks or projects. However, you can use it for self-organizing, just to manage your plans and projects, or among the family members for major home course. This is free, and for most of us, the free version is completely enough, but a variety of premium add-on called Power-ups are available through business class if someone needs more features. Let's go and dive in. Trollo has both desktop and mobile versions. I personally prefer to use the desktop version for major designing if I wanted to create a new board and do so many modifications. Mobile version works almost the same as uh, the desktop version. It's good for if you wanted to just check the regular boards and uh, do some small modifications, very handy and useful. For mobile version, you should go to Apple Store or Play Store and download the app, open it to see the sign up uh, page, then click on sign up. And there are different ways to uh, create your account. Uh, you can use your email account, just enter your email, continue, you will receive a confirmation through your mailbox. You have to confirm it and come back and continue. Or you can just continue with your Google account or Microsoft account and uh, let the integration between Trello and those works and connect you to your account. Because for a very long time I'm using Trello, you see, uh, there are so many boards on my account, but let's start a new board. So, by clicking on the plus, I have access to making new cards or new board. I'm going to click a board, and a board is a series of different lists. So, I make different lists on the board, and if each list, I will add more cards. So, suppose I'm for this one, just make a name. And I have a team already added my team uh, to the list, and uh, there are different teams uh, for, for visibility. It's only visible to my team. So I will create the board, and now this is the first list. I'm going to add the list. So for movies, I have uh, there are a couple of names, planning, and I'm going to add cards. So it's possible to just copy and paste of uh, the name of the, for example, movies, bring it here, but I will just add a couple of names, for example, 3D. And on each card, you can go and add something. For example, add which member is going to do that, this uh, project. And there are access to due dates. For example, I wanted to make sure that, okay, it will be done by next Monday at 
the afternoon pick a specific time or in the afternoon it will be done in the afternoon and 15 minutes before that the system will be send a notification to me to remind that it's, it should be done and I can add some labels there are different labels here in different colors so I can assign which color what's the meaning of each color for example if the movie is very important I'm putting this as uh, uh, very important and then and add this and now you see Arduino project is in a planning stage and the due date is May 11th and it is very important and there are other things you can do with the list so if you click that these are uh, the features are available for each list you can move a list to another car another uh, all you can move all of cars on one list to another or you can move a list to another board and that kind of things also there are options on on each card so you can add a comment you can add a description you can add a checklist on the on a card or you can add an attachment for example you wanted to take a photo or upload a file related to that uh, or you you wanted to add a cover to a car so i will finish this project very quickly and i will show you for example in this uh, project what would be uh, the result okay it's almost done and you see now it's uh, visually much more interesting and uh, at the same time it's very informative because there are so many information related to that on each card every card has almost every card has its own uh, cover related to the topic and some of them have uh, due dates and you see on each card it's it mentioned that which staff is going to do that these numbers i mean letter s is for staff one staff two i didn't add any name but if you add a name or initials or picture uh, and all of them are possible then you will see more information here if you click on these three dots you have access to more features on the board for example you can see the members of the board if you wanted to add someone else the member or another person you can use this or you can go to the board setting and change a couple of things on that for example if you wanted to change the name of the board uh, if you wanted to change the visibility the visibility here is on uh, is only for team but you can make it public and uh, about commenting other things are also you can close the board when you close the board it goes to archive you can completely delete the board after that or you can reopen it so it's good to and uh, try different features for example power ups power ups is some ads on you can use for different purposes on a board on each board you have one power up for free you can activate a power up like calendar as long as you use the free version you have access on the one power up for each board if you wanted to use more power ups you have to switch uh, to a premium version or you can just deactivate one power up on a board and active another one uh, there is very good resource on uh, treeload.com and you see there are from the beginning it's a step by step getting it started with Trello and there are so many things related to that also there are webinars on the website you can go there another good resource as always is lynda.com one of uh, the best courses to learn from scratch is Trello essential training so just go and try it using Trello can help your team find information faster and stay on top of the tasks at hand but most importantly, it will cut down on excess meetings, emails, and confusion. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. 
We'll be creating more videos to show you how apps can make your stay at home life so much easier. From everyone here at BPL, thanks for watching and stay safe.